I'm loving every minute I play there. It's always good to have you side those friends in the middle, mate. How are you feeling? How's the preseason been? Yeah, like Kyle said, pretty tough. Um, 19 year old, so it's uh, yeah, pretty taxing on the body, but no, it's a lot of fun. We've had the new fitness uh, new fitness coach Dean Robertson in, so he's made his impact straight away, and it's been yeah, a lot of hard work. You're into uh, your second preseason after the, after your first season last year. How was it different to the first year, and how are you feeling now compared to this time last year? Oh well, with your first year, you sort of uh, you're doing a percentage of the workload, and they sort of ease you into the program. Whereas they throw sort sort of throw you in the deep end in the second year, and I've been doing a fair bit of it, so that's yeah something something different. Looking forward to having you out in the fields, eh? All the way down full-back is Carl, who always gets forgotten, mate. Now, do you still love being down there? You love being the full-back and holding out the rest of the song. Yeah, I really enjoy it. I enjoy the one-on-one contest. So, yeah, it's good when they kick it in there and give me a chance. Now, any of the boys just had a look at the new Fox footy. We can see Fox still over there. Fox footy got a new ad, and you seem to be the star <laughs> of the new ad, Carl. I see you every every second day here on the uh, on the big screen. Oh, I haven't actually seen it. I don't know Fox still, so... Um, yeah, I have to check it out. Nice cheap plug too, just to try and get a free little connection. Well done, it's always worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, they actually told me to, so I've got to do it. Now, a huge amount of fans for the Bombers faithful. What can we look forward to in season 2012? Yeah, it's really exciting to see everyone down here. Um, we're getting to the business end of the, well, the pre-season and really looking forward to the season starting and playing some exciting footy and hopefully get a few wins on the board early. Of course, we uh, we had a, a bit of a different pre-season. We had a good win on Friday night. How have you seen the, the games that were played so far? I had to go over to Perth as well. Got Brisbane Lions here next week. How has it been as far as game play? Um, I think it's not important whether we win or lose in the pre-season. It's just about getting some game time into the players and practising our game style. So hopefully we've improved in that aspect and come round one we'll be cherry rock. Certainly like to knock off North Melbourne round one. Don't worry about that. Now, let's in the middle, mate. Who's impressed you on the training track this year? Be they new recruits or be they the old blokes? Who's impressed you on the track? Oh, under pressure over here, I'll say these two boys. No, no, no. Aside from these two, we know you're going to say that. Aside from these two, who, of course, would be wonderful on the track. Who else has impressed you on the track in the preseason? I think we all agree that Jake Malcolm's put on a lot of size and he's going to have a really good year. He played every game this year and this is his third year, so he's going to be starting in the midfield and playing every game. He'll play really well. Is he going to be as angry as he is every game? He's pretty angry, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always good to know, of course. Got to make sure. Now, Kyle, you, uh, you were saying you enjoy being down the back line, mate. Who do you think down there or, of course, up forward, who's going to impress you on the ground this year? Who do you think has just got that extra bit from 2011 taking into 2012? Um, I think uh, Dempsey with his comeback, you know, from his knees uh, really pushed himself really hard over the pre-season. He's got a bigger tank now and he's just going to run really hard off the back line. Give us a lot of ball use and also Michael Hibbert as well, you know, he's ready to have a real big year. It's his second year at the club and, you know, he looks like he's been there for a while so uh, I'd be ready to watch him fan, so. What's it like to watch Courtney Dempsey and Jason Winley. We spoke to Jason before. What's it like to watch those two guys go through the 12-month rehab to get back and not how hard they work? Because you boys are working very hard as well, but those guys are doing stuff a little bit tougher without playing the games. Oh, definitely, especially with how early they did it last year. And, you know, they're sitting on the sidelines and they want to be out there just as much as us. But when they're in the gym, they're doing the extras in the gym, they're on the bike, they're doing all that. And then when it gets to pre-season, they're ready to go. And, they, you know, they get all the other boys up and ready. So watching, you know, Winderlich came back for his first game and he was, he was awesome for his hard that he played and it just gives you a bit of inspiration seeing how hard they work and then when they actually get the reward to play it uh, yeah it's really good this time of year every side reckons they could win it more importantly what can we look for for the Bombers in 2012 um, I think as everyone knows you know we love to play that exciting brand of footy so if we can get that run on we love using the ball and getting it off real quickly so we're definitely going to add that but our defensive part of the game is going to be huge for us this year and we're really going to try and push to improve on last year and finish that one better can still uh, take mark of the year though down back oh, I'm going to go for it if it's there oh we know don't yeah. worry about that ladies and gentlemen Cole Hardy and Alex Brown Kyle Hooker wonderful to have the three boys here they did they told me to say uh, thanks very much to the boys. They're going to the community clinic now, so if you'd like to see and meet these boys down at the community clinic, thank you very much for joining us on stage, boys. The official Guernsey presentation at 3.30, which is about 50, 55 minutes away, and that's going to be here on stage at 3.30, the official jumper presentation. So please make your way.